What's up everybody, Sujit Patel here in my next installment of my five minute video. Today we're gonna to talk about content marketing for SaaS businesses and really how SaaS businesses can leverage content marketing. So how can they do it? I think there's four big ways you can leverage content marketing if you're a SaaS business. First and foremost is a no-brainer. It's awareness, right? It's the top of the funnel. You use content to help you spread your awareness. It's you, you help make the top of the funnel wider. Instead of talking about yourself and all the promises your product can do or all the pain points and features you have, uh, or your pain points you solve and features you have, you talk about, you use content to help spread the word about your brand. And then once people arrive, they get exposure and then essentially they may sign up for your email list or get more familiar with your brand. But that's all on the awareness stage. If you're doing content marketing right, this can really help you on the awareness stage. The number two way to essentially leverage content marketing for your SaaS businesses is education, right? So you can use the content you create not just to bring awareness to your product, but to educate your people, uh, people that are considering your product, right? It's all in the consideration stage. It's like the second part of the funnel. It, it's a great way to not just educate your customers about what you do and your product or company, but about the industry as a whole. So at contentmarketer.io, we don't use content marketing or content to educate our customers about us and how to use our product. We educate our customers on how to do content marketing, right? So by default, we become the standard for helping people do content marketing. So if we've taught them how to do content marketing, you can be, you can assume or a customer can assume that we can help them do content marketing with our tool, hence the consideration stage. But you're not even really, you don't always have to solve it or educate your customers about you. You wanna educate your customers about your mission, your industry, about their problems. So the next thing, number three, is engaging your audience, your customers, right? How do you do this? Well, simply put, ask your customers what their most common problems are. In fact, by doing this, you can actually understand more about your audience and your customers and build out a customer profile or a customer persona and really understand what, what makes them tick, right? What, what do you need to write? What, what is gaps that in their knowledge that you can help create, you can create content to help educate them, right? So you're gonna find out more information about this. You can also just essentially use this content to talk to your customers and use the content as a buffer to essentially um, be the gap between, or be the facilitator between you and the customer and talk about your content. But if you think about it, when you do this, you're just talking to your customers, almost doing a pre-sales uh, conversation. So it works really well to engage your customers. Number four, and the last way uh, you can use content is for your sales funnel. You can use content marketing and content you create throughout your onboarding process, throughout the sales process of, of closing in customers. Get this in the hands of your sales team. Get this in the hands of your success team. Get this in the hands of your support team. If you're truly educating customers and you're creating great content, other people can use this while they're closing or solving their problems, customer support and sales, to essentially make the customer experience better. And so you're essentially doing number two, which is education, but you're doing it through the sales funnel and you're adding more value through the process. And again, when you make it not about you and you make it about the value you're giving, the content, you can close more deals, frankly. Um, I'm gonna convert from you because I think you can not just solve my problems, you can help me solve uh, with my software, with your software, but you can help me solve the other problems I have in life, in my role and whatnot. So it's a great way to do that. All right guys, leave a comment below if you have any feedback and other ways you think we can leverage content marketing as SaaS founders. I'm a SaaS founder and I leverage content marketing all the time. All right, and stay tuned for the next double video. Take care.